Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. Please subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching. The first left-handed American championship in the history of heavyweight, Michael Murray, shared his opinion about Ukrainian Alexander Usyk. According to the legend of the ring, the 35-year-old athlete from Ukraine is head and shoulders above all active boxers due to his huge amateur experience and hand skills. Alexander Usyk is a phenomenal boxer, Murray said in an interview. And there is no one I see as a favorite against him, because Uzi has hate, arm span, and he knows how to fight. None of today's fighters will beat Uzi because he has a great school, not Joshua, not Tyson Fury. He boxed in amateurs all his career, opposed to various styles. He can fight anyone and beat them. When asked how he would have defeated someone like Usyk if he had been at the peak, Mir answered the following. I won't get away from him. I won't stay close to not give space. After all, if I had success, it would not have been effective. I will impose close combat on him, not allowing myself to be kept on the edge of his blows. Early dimensional date and venue of Usyk's rematch with Britain Anthony Joshua, whom he beat in September last year, became known. Mike Coppinger, a well-known insider and ESPN journalist, citing his sources, reported that the rematch between the WBA Super, WBO and IBA World Champion Ukrainian Alexander Usyk and Britain Anthony Joshua will take place on August 20 in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Sources told ESPN that a rematch for the heavyweight title between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua is scheduled for August 20th in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Initially, the fight was planned for July 23, but now Joshua will get an additional 30 days to work with the new coach Robert Garcia, Coppinger wrote. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel, and rank very hard absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repost to social networks. Thanks for subscribes, guys. British heavyweight David Price believes that his compatriot Anthony Joshua risks an early defeat in a rematch with WBA, WBO and IBA world champion in their division Alexander Uzik. If Joshua chose as an aggressive path, then it will be open. I think Usyk is hard enough to knock him out. As for me, he must clear Joshua in the first fight. I think there will be more drama in the rematch anyway. If Joshua loses, he will leave on the shell. I don't think it will come to the judges' notes. Joshua is able to put an end to the fight because he is a great finisher. But Usyk is just like a matrix. He showed a different style, which is not often seen, said Davis Price. And if you did British heavyweight George Joy short his opinion about the sensational visit of his compatriot and division rival Anthony Joshua to the students of Loved Board University. In May, Joshua heard insults addressed to him from a group of drunk students, after which he camped their dorm and held a conversation in raised tones, threatening to break their jaws. Jojo is believed that this behavior indicates AJ's psychological problems. He talks, and this conversation seems very psychological, but it really looks staged. However, when Joshua Break is imagined like that, you realize that something is happening. That's why I say he lost his head a little. He snaps. Even this conversation with students should be like what rough a goose for Joshua. You should not influence him. You don't have to go there and bully them, do you? Say George Joyce. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.